Well, new for us this year is the uh, the 30 series of our Titan floaters chassis and really what this product uh, evolves from or, or what it's including is the the uh, meeting of the tier 4 emissions using our SCR technology. Uh, in addition to that we have an engine change with this particular model using the Case IH FPT engine uh, at both 330 horsepower and then up to 400 horsepower. And really the big driver with this is, is bringing this product into the Case IH efficient power family where we take the emissions components off of the engine and allow the engine to be tuned for power and performance really driving the productivity that we're looking for but treating the, the emissions part of it in the exhaust outside of the engine and really that's done a lot, an awful lot of things for us really boosting that power and productivity but also improving the overall fuel economy of these particular models as well. In addition to that we've ha had a uh, change in our cab or our operator environment and this cab has gotten uh, larger going, going from 113 cubic feet up to 132 cubic feet and in addition to the additional space we have more glass now so you get better visibility out to the sides to the front and also to the rear of the vehicle. Um, Really, you know, driving home the, the versatility of this product, you know, the Titan chassis is available in either three or four wheel configurations. Uh, the two different horsepower classifications that I talked about, uh, combining that with the six-speed Allison automatic transmission, and then an optional uh, auxiliary transmission, which really takes that six-speed transmission and can give you the availability of up to 24 different speed ranges. Uh, the Titan chassis is also available from, a, from an application standpoint really in three different configurations with a 810 flex air pneumatic applicator in single, double, or triple product and then uh, a liquid application system with either 1800 or 2000 gallons as well. And then lastly, you know, taking that chassis and installing a, uh, a dry spinner box on it as well.